Hey everyone, it's John. So I've been receiving quite a few questions from some of you as to what stockbroker is the best to use in Canada, especially for beginner investors, which is important for us as students because in general we have limited capital and we're looking for investments that have you know, growth opportunities to reach those long-term returns. So in this video, I'll be breaking down the characteristics of the two biggest Canadian stockbrokers, and those are Questrade and Wealth Simple Trade. So just a quick disclaimer that I do have a TFSA account, which is a tax-free savings account in Wealth Simple Trade, although I don't have a Quest Trade account at the moment. Although I know some people who do, so I'll be using their perspectives to complement my opinion in this video. So when making the comparison between these two big Canadian discount brokers, I'll be breaking it down into the following characteristics. The first one being the types of accounts that each one of them has. The second one being it, the assets that are available for purchase, in other words the financial securities that are available within the app. The third one is the trading fees that each one has, so this includes commissions, exchange rates, and other uh, potential fees that you might encounter. The fourth one is the functionality of the app or the website itself. The fifth one is the customer service, I have a funny story about this later. And the sixth one is how easy it is to set up the account in one of these brokers. So when looking at the characteristics for both Questrade and Wealthsimple, you can see that Wealthsimple has a lot more limited variety. So with Wealthsimple, you can only open a personal account, a TFSA, which is a tax-free savings account, a registered retirement savings plan, RSP, and only those three are available at the moment. On the other hand, for Questrade, you can open all of the ones that Wealthsimple does, and on top of that, you can also do margin and corporate accounts. So it tends to be better for those who want to do more advanced investments uh, when it comes to the stock market. So the second characteristic that I will be comparing between these two brokers is the assets that are available to buy and sell. So for Wealthsimple, once again, it's a lot more limited. You can only buy ETFs and stocks, whereas for Questrade, you can buy ETFs, stocks, bonds, uh, international equities, and even precious metals. So that puts Questrade as, at an advantage because it has a lot more variety, which enables investors to diversify their portfolio better, which is very useful for those who have greater equity and who have more sophisticated investing needs. So for a beginner, I believe stocks and bonds would be more than enough but it's important to consider the other options that are available with Questrade. So now I'll be talking about the trading fees for Questrade and Wealthsimple Trade. So for Wealthsimple Trade, there, you actually pay nothing to invest in stocks and ETFs. There is no commission fee and no charges when you buy or sell your financial securities. However, when you do invest in Questrade, you have to pay between five and $10 commission for each purchase you make on stocks and ETFs. So you are at a disadvantage if you use Questrade in terms of these trading costs. However, if you want to invest in the American stock market, you're better off using Questrade instead of Wealthsimple Trade. And that's because Wealthsimple charges a 1.5% conversion fee on top of the standard rate, which is more expensive than Questrade, which charges no change when it comes to currency conversion between Canadian dollars and US dollars. So to sum it up, if you decide to invest in the Canadian stock market only, Wealthsimple is better because you don't have those extra fees when it comes to exchanges and you pay no commissions on the ETFs and stocks you buy. Another point that's very important to consider when it comes to fees when you trade is the inactivity fee. So for Wealthsimple Trade, there is no fee if you don't invest regularly. However, for Questrade, you do have to pay $24.95 per quarter if your balance is below $1,000 and you're not investing regularly. So that's another deciding factor between both of the brokerage accounts because you know if you're not willing to invest more than $1,000 into your Questrade account, you will have to face those inactivity fees if you don't uh, trade on a regular basis. That leads me to another point which is what is the minimum deposit for either one of these brokerage accounts. So for Wealthsimple Trade, it's zero dollars. You can deposit as much or as little as you want. However, for Questrade, you need to deposit at least a thousand Canadian dollars. 
So anything below that, you're not going to be able to open your account. So you need that 1K upfront to start investing using Quest Trade. So that is a distinguishing factor between which of these brokerage accounts you should use, depending on how much equity you want to invest. Now I'll be comparing the functionality between Wealthsimple Trade and Quest Trade using two different factors. The first one being aesthetics and so how it looks when you invest, and the second one being how easy it is to access the brokerage accounts on different devices. So kind of the accessibility of the service. I'll be showing Wealthsimple Trade right now because it's the one that I have, so it'll be easier for me to go through it. So if you look into it, um, you'll see, I, I hope show it here, uh, that this is my current amount in my TFSA. And by just uh, pressing my finger, I can see that how the value changed in the past day. I can change it to the past week, as you can see now. So it's very easy to do. I can also see all of my holdings. So if I open up here, there's Air Canada, there's a few banks, real estate investment trusts, a few ETFs, uh, yeah, TDs. There's a lot of different uh, stocks in my portfolio because I want to keep it diversified one. But Wealthsimple is easy to access in this sense because you can see all of the different uh, holdings. And then if I go further down, these are companies and stocks that are on my wait list. So they're ones that I'll probably buy in the future if there's a dip in price. So, yeah, so that's pretty much how Wealthsimple Trade works. It's a very, very easy to understand platform. And in terms of the functionality for Wealthsimple Trade, it's not that convenient because it only has an app. There is no website where you can track your investments. So that can be considered a downside for Wealthsimple Trade. Quest Trade, on the other hand, does have a website and it does have an app on the phone which makes it very easy to access in any device. So that added flexibility may come as an advantage to many of you. So it really depends on how you want to invest. So like I previously mentioned, I do not have a Quest Trade account, but what I heard from other people is that Quest Trade is very easy to use as well, although it has more added features for more advanced investing tools. So that's really what distinguishes Wealthsimple Trade and Quest Trade. In that wealth simple trade is very simplistic, very minimalistic in terms of the design, the layouts, and the the views of the stocks. Whereas Quest Trade allows for more advanced investment strategies and to look more closely into the numbers and manage your portfolio in that sense. So now I'll be talking about customer service for both Quest Trade and Wealth Simple Trade. So from my experience, I never had any issue with Wealth Simple Trade. However, with Quest Trade, as you will see right here, I spent three hours waiting for one of their representatives to pick up the phone as I was opening my account. And because it, that never happened, they never picked up, I quit after three hours. And that's pretty much the reason why I didn't open a Quest Trade account and I chose Wealthsimple Trade instead. So now I'll be comparing how easy it is to set up Quest Trade and Wealthsimple Trade. So for Quest Trade, it takes slightly longer, and that's because you have to wait until the government issued documents get officially authorized by someone in the company. Whereas for Wealthsimple Trade, that is not the case. In terms of the deposit time it takes to arrive at your brokerage accounts, they're about the same. So what mainly distinguishes Wealthsimple Trade in terms of easiness to set up is that it doesn't require you to wait for the approval of government issued documents. And that's the small margin that Wealthsimple Trade has in relation to Quest Trade. So, taking into consideration all of the comparisons that were previously done, this will give a better indication as to which brokerage account suits you best. And so, what I recommend is if you're a beginner investor, either one works. Um, for Wealthsimple Trade, its main advantage is that it's very easy to understand, very quick setup, and doesn't have that many features, so it's pretty much just buying stocks and ETFs at no trading costs in Canada. If you're planning on investing in the American stock market and doing more advanced investment strategies, then Quest Trade is probably ideal for you, especially if you're you know, a moderate investor that already has some experience. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's very different than the other ones I've made. It's more targeted to those of you who are interested in finance and starting off investing. So I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please leave a like, subscribe. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. 
and I'll see you guys. Bye. Hey everyone, just a quick side note now that I'm editing the video. I forgot to mention that I'll link the websites down below which compare Wealth Simple Trade with Quest Trade to make it easier to see for yourselves the differences. See you guys.